Welcome to our robotics channel. Join us as we dive into the exciting world of robotics. My son and me will be building cool bots, exploring their building blocks, and learn to code. To kick things off, we're launching a video series using the Spike Essentials Kit. This kit is perfect for elementary school kids who are new to robotics. In each episode, we'll create a brand new bot and also understand how it works. So let's get ready to build, learn and have fun. This is the fifth project of the series and we are making the amazing. The building steps of the amazing can be found on the LEGO Education website where you can find step-by-step -step instructions on how to create the structure. Let's start with the project, where Z is going to build the structure of this amazing and walk us through all the construction details involved. So our first step is any ways to take a base plate, put it in here. Then we take this, put it here. Wait, no, it's not the right size. Oh yeah, we take two of these, put one here, and one here. Now we take two of these random color, put one here, put one here, and save step, take two of them. These, again, random color, the dead here. Then we take two on these large green pieces of holes of them, put of it like this, on my face. We take another big base plate like this. Move this away. Put it here. Let's take this again. Snap it with one like this. And then we take two of these pieces of random color. Come like this, come like that. That step, I mean, at the same step, we take two of these blue pieces again, and anyway, put one like this. Any color, put one like this. And also, one of these. Put it right between these two. The next step is to take two of these large pieces, look a little bigger than these, and put one over here. Make sure there's two. Stud space inside and wait. Oh, yeah. And also take one of these, make sure there's three spaces in here. Put this here. Then tank. <laughs> These, put one like this, put one like that. Then take two, whatever color bricks you want. Put one like this, next to here, and, then, and the other one next to this. And then we take 
some other color bricks, or they can be same and put one on top of the other brick and same with the other one. Then take two, two of these two pieces, one like this, one like that, on top of the pink pieces, whatever color. Then move this away. And take what one of green. You might not find this piece in your Lego collection. Then take two of these green pieces that you've seen in one of my other videos. Put one like this, put one like that. I take this back and one side over like this, twist this, and then push on to the other side. You can do it if you want to. Then you take the brain of this full entire Lego set, which is yellow in color, and don't forget to put batteries in it. And put it over here on top of those two white pieces that we just placed. Done. Next, we take two of these pieces, they're technic pieces, I'll just let you know. So this like this, put one all the way at the bottom of the gray, and with the other. Like this. Can I move this away with a pick with these? And again, take your pick pieces. And then the ones they can be any color that you want. Go like this. Go like that. We take one color sensor. I mean a light a light sensor. We then take it. So we take this pink piece of the ready made. We go it again and put this. And we take this. And put it like that. Kind of hard step, huh? Take this and attach the brain. And attach the light sensor to the brain. To so these two thick pieces right over here. The light needs to be pointed. Up. And then we take the wire and put it, plug it into A, which is over here. Put this away. Take the well, whatever color pieces you want. Put your bricks like this. You will of course find these. Or like that. Or like that. Then take for another one of these and search the green piece. So just put it on top. And take two more and little bricks or whatever color. Put it just like we did with the green. And then take this back, flip it around. And then take this thing that we made, put it right in the center. Flip it around. Also, same step. We take a bottle, if you find one, on top of 
the circle clip. Okay. So this maze works like this. So when you so when you do a tilt like this, so when the brain detects the tilt like whoop, then the light the light turns on. So the so this is a fun one. Like it's a game. So so the brain's gonna detect how many tilts you have to do before the when the when the ball gets from here to here, the brain will, might tell you how much you tilted. Once the amazing is constructed, the next step is to program this using the hub. Let's create a simple program. We start with creating the name of the program and connecting the hub to the computer. In this program, we start with the event function that triggers the program when the tilt sensor detects any tilt. When this happens, we turn on the light to red for 2 seconds. Now this is ok, but we are going to make the program more cooler. For this we install the additional extensions for graphs, which is used for visualizations, and make this program into a game. In the same program, we add another function to clear the bar graph values when we start the program. Now we add another function to increase the value of bar graph by 1, when there is a tilt or the light turns on. We can also change which color displays in the bar graph. The values of the bar graph is shown at bottom left. We run the program and try to move the ball to the finish line in minimum number of tilts. This is what we see in the bar graph. Total 5 tilts for this run. You can try doing this again to minimize the number of tilts. Hope you liked this project. If you want to learn about similar projects, please click on the above link.